Bridge Clinic in 2004, when we were awarded the ISO certification, was the first clinic in the English-speaking world to be given an ISO certificate. The Europeans were already doing it, so there were some clinics in Germany, uh, clinics in Austria, but certainly we were well ahead of all the clinics in the UK. In the early days, quality standards were not part of the consideration. What was important is to get a business going. There were two slogans that I used to drive myself in those days. One was in trying to raise investment. Uh, I used to tell myself the vulture was a patient bird because you had to spend a lot of time waiting. And the second one was uh, something borrowed from when the settlers went to America, which is that the chest of the pioneers is full of arrows because there were so many challenges in those early days um, trying to get um, Bridge Clinic going. I remember struggling to raise financing to get going, and I think as November 1998, I managed to get 17 patients to pay for treatment um, and had a makeshift laboratory. I um, brought the team from King's College to support the program, and on assessing the patients, the first point they made was, listen, these patients will not get pregnant. Because when you look at the characteristics of the patients in terms of their age and the, the level of their reproductive issues, they felt that they were not the type of patients we should start with. It was quite interesting because I remember telling the, the guys from King's that, well, it's the money they paid that I used to pay for your, your trip to come to Nigeria. And, uh, John Parsons then told me, well, Richard, this is your problem, not mine. Um, and so we had to cancel all the treatments. Um, I had to look for money to refund the patients. And then they gave me specifications to improve the quality of the laboratory. And we went out to try and um, raise more money so we can provide a better lab laboratory, which we did. They came back, I think it was in February 1999. We ran another set. I think then we treated 12 patients. Of the 12, we found that six of them did not respond to treatment. The remaining six we treated, we did not achieve any pregnancies because we discovered we needed ICSI equipment because the male contribution to infertility in Nigeria is quite significant. So we had to go and raise more money to buy the ICSI equipment and that heralded in the success of our first pregnancies, which was the treatment in June 1999. We had the first babies in um, January 2000. So I think the, the message I'm really trying to get across is one of the kind of resilience that you need um, when you're starting up anything. When you're starting up something th that was then very sophisticated in Nigeria, there were so many hurdles and obstacles we had to overcome to put IVF on the table and provide a sustainable service in Nigeria. So quality came later because once we got the business going, we started getting pregnancies, it became quite clear that we needed a system of codification. And I think as far back as the year 2002, I went for an IVF conference where a gentleman gave a lecture on quality management in IVF services. And it made a lot of sense to me because not only did it break down the whole process of IVF, it created a situation of making sure you are assured your value proposition to your clients. Because by breaking down the processes and making sure you are clear on the inputs for each process and its output and make sure you deliver those, it created an opportunity for business sustainability. Because once you implemented these systems in place, you had clear guidelines to employ staff, clear guidelines to train them, clear guidelines to test their proficiency, clear guidelines to incentivize them, clear guidelines to manage their performance. And once you put all these systems in place, um, it allowed us to just continue to create a business that can sustain itself uh, for as long as possible. So quality came later, and I think Bridge Clinic in 2004, when we were awarded the ISO certification was the first clinic in the English-speaking world to be given an ISO certificate. The Europeans were already doing it, so there were some clinics in Germany, 
uh, clinics in Austria, but certainly we were well ahead of all the clinics in the UK in implementing a quality management system and have it externally verified as part of our offering to our patients.